Okay, May 7th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. If you live in the Akron Borough and you are a current 10th or 11th grade student, this announcement is for you. The Akron Borough Council is looking for a student to serve as a junior council member for next year. As a junior council member, you would attend borough meetings second and fourth Monday of the month from 6.30 to 8 and provide a student's perspective into everything directly affecting the borough. This would also be an incredible activity to add to your resume. Please be sure to see the Schoology announcement for the application, which needs to be submitted by the end of the day on Friday, May 10th. Attention sophomores, we have an opportunity for students from the class of 2026 for next school year to participate in a program called, called uh, Discovering Paths with the Lancaster Chamber. Their mission is to inspire, guide, and empower high school juniors as they consider their next steps. The program is designed for students who may not have a full idea of what they would like to do or study after high school. That and if you are looking for an opportunity to connect with our with our community, visit a number of places around Lancaster County and earn credit toward the Life Ready Graduate Certificate. Fill out the form on Squishy or let Mrs. Calhoun know. Space is limited as only 12 students can participate and I need to know and I need to know interest by May 10, 2024. Juniors and seniors, you have spoken. The 2024 prom court is for for the ladies, we have in no specific order. We have Evelyn Banks, Lexi Kresge, Lindsay Garde Flores, Courtney Smith, and Ellie Meyer. And for the gentlemen, again in no specific order, Trenton Seibel, Jeremiah Knowles, Angel Colazzo Cologne, Wyatt Kiefer, Matt O'Chang, <laughs> Dawson Groff. Remember seniors, please vote for your prom king and queen this week on Schoology. Are you a rising junior and are interested in running for the class officer position? Then listen up. If you want to be a part of the election, please see Mrs. Petrie in room 200 to receive a signature sheet and packet of information. Packets are, are available now. Signatures need to be returned to Mrs. Petrie no later than May 16th at 3 p.m. Summer school information is available now. If needed, be sure to check this out on the EHS counseling website and Schoology class of 20 groups. So, so if you failed a class and need to retake it, this summer is the time to do so. That, and if you have any questions, schedule an appointment with counselor with the QR codes printed in each classroom. Now over to Kenzie with the news. Boy, I sure do hate that stupid effort I am thing. That thing really stinks. Oh, 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 National Teachers Day is observed on the first Tuesday of the first full week of May, today, actually, and we're more than ready to show our appreciation to those who have taught us. Everyone has had their favorite teacher who has helped inspire them. This day meant, this day meant to honor them was actually made by a teacher, none other than First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt herself. Eleanor Roosevelt was more, more than Franklin D. Roosevelt's wife. She has a history of civic duty and was an advocate for fellow teachers. Her love for education began at a young age and when she was privately tutored and encouraged by her Aunt Anna, aka Barney Roosevelt, no matter how high her, she rose on the social ladder, she would, never forgot where she came from. Now back to the main desk. There will be a meeting for next year's AP Seminar students in the library during ACT on May 15th. If you are registered for AP Seminar, please plan on attending or seeing Dr. Hull by May 23rd. Attention juniors, please, please get out your laptops and take a few seconds to vote for your class of 2025 senior class president. The link has been provided on the class of 2025 Schoology Group and a post from Mr. Geyer. So only the members of the junior class may vote in, in, this, in this election 
and if you have any questions about the election, please send a Schoology message to Mr. Geyer. Vote now. Now over to lunch and sports with Carr. White one's better. No, the gray one's better. No, the black one's better. No, the yellow one's better. No, purple is better. No, pink <laughs> one's better. Today is the seventh I have for lunch, but I'm also taking you for a tour. This is the Ephrata AM um, newsroom. But for today, we have a burrito bowl with carnitas, grilled chicken, patty cheese on ciabatta, Papa John's pizza. This is the sports chair. These are our cameras. Crispy chicken wrap. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, barbecue chicken salad. This is where we run the teleprompter, and this is where we edit. We got barbecue chicken salad, um, Bush's Ranchero beans, steamed corn. This is our Lucas. Grape tomatoes and dip, assorted fresh fruit, 100% juice slash slushy, and we just finished up at news. <laughs> Yesterday, baseball lost 4-5 to five at E-Town. Boys lacrosse won 21-6 to six versus Lancaster Country Day. Girls lacrosse lost 10-19 to 19 at Cacalico, and softball lost versus E-Town. Last night, the track and field team traveled to backyard rival Cacalico to finish out their Section 2 schedule. Both teams were able to ground the Eagles. Final scores were, on the boys' side, Ephrata 107 and Cacalico 43 with the win. The boys team finishes the season with a 6-1 and one record in the Section 2. On the girls side, Ephrata 108 and Cacalico 42. With this win, the girls team finishes the season with a 7-0 record and repeats as Section 2 champs. Winners of the boys events were as followed. Angel Colazzo Cologne in the 110 and 300 meter hurdles, Nick Keller in the 400 meter dash, the 4x1 relay team of Austin Bryant, Ryder Newland, Aiden Curd, Aiden Kern, Braden Mazaki, Maz Samson Gibson in the 800 run, the 4x4 meter relay team of Samson Gibson, Armani Acovito, Jeremiah Knowles, <laughs> and Toby Barrett. Toby Barrett in the high and long jump, Quentin Fouts in the triple jump, Aaron Young in the pole vault, Sam McCracken in the javelin, Brendan Frymoyer in the shot put. Winners of the girls' events were as followed. The 4x8 meter relay team of Katie Brass, Kayla Reinenbog, Hannah Miller, and Ella Fouts, Lydia Shook in the 100 meter hurdles, Gianna Long in the 1 and 400 meter dash, Vittoria Faccio in the 300 meter hurdles, Ella Fouts in the 800 meter run, Marie McCracken in the 200 meter dash, the 4x4 meter relay of Talia Kuhn, Vittoria Faccio, Marie McCracken, and Gianna Long. Courtney Smith in the long jump, triple jump, and javelin. Lily Shook in the high jump. Adeline Zimmerman in the pole vault. Sophia Rivera in the shot put and discus. This Friday and Saturday, the track and field team will compete in the Lancaster Lebanon League Championship at Hemfield High School. 2024 fall sports signups will run through May 15th. Sign up link is posted on your class Schoology page. Today, softball is home versus Dallas Town and volleyball is at Cacalico. Now back to the main desk. It is act period two today. Have, Have a, a tutti fruity Tuesday, Ephrata. Yeah!